Well, I think if you uh, look at leadership and, um, you know, certainly I have a mentor in my father and uh, who's been a good person that said to me always that, you know, you're not always right and you're not always wrong and that as long as you try, you'll continue to be successful. And I think Ted Rogers was a great leader that way. Was he always right? No. Was he always wrong? No. But you know what? In looking at it and going ahead, I think it's really great to go and say, hi, I made a mistake. And my dad was really great to me in saying, oh, you're forgiven. Now let's move on. And I think in leadership, you have to look at people and then go from there and then go and say, you know what, mm, hi, did you do everything right? No. Did you do a good job? Yes. Did you try hard? Yes. So I think there's a lot of components about leadership that really drive you ahead. And the more once in a while you stumble and you fall down, was well, how you brush yourself off and pick yourself up ahead. Right, and so that's really our concept here. I mean, we're a family-based company, and so it's kind of about that. I would say that it's changing it in that um, when you have, let's say, let's just call it a BlackBerry or iPod or whatever you have, that your access to information is so quick like just take for example at Shaw here, I get the numbers from, you know, whatever we sold that day, whatever we did that day, you know, digital phone, whatever, I get it daily. I think it's at 1 p.m. right around there. And you get all that stuff. So you now as a leader have access to information that would have taken you usually, oh hi, I got a report a month ago or this month or you know whatever you don't get that anymore you get it daily and so now you can make decisions with your team and move ahead and you move ahead a lot quicker and and kind of drive your business and not that I mean in telecommunications no one takes over the other guy we're just part of the group right the telecommunications group so I think that what it means to me is that we're able to access what we do and I think that technology is also and you know um, I don't care if we're talking about Patrick here we're talking about whoever that we are able to communicate so much better with our customers than we ever ever have and with our employees. And we do it through a whole bunch of different things. Whether we talk about our barbecues with 54, 40, you know, nine or 10 barbecues with, you know, I think we're 11,000 employees now. Or, you know, whether it's the Christmas parties and we do a little video for them. And just to communicate and connect, connect, just like a family, just like you would do with your family.